Um, speaking really quick, non sequitur again, of uh, Spanish shows. Did Joe? Did you take Spanish in like high school and stuff? Yeah, yeah. I took like four si. years of it. But I was gonna uh, say the correct answer was C. Yeah. C. Si, si. <laughs> un poco, poquito, <laughs> muy un, un poquito. Did you watch that TV show? Or there's like a show that I feel like every Spanish high school had to watch. I don't know if it was called like. It's not Despacito. Is like, uh, it was some. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about, though. Um, I know. I, Spanish TV show. It was like the cheesiest, like soap opera. Yeah, yeah. I know. And because it has really basic, basic, basic language. Um, yeah. Spanish. I'm gonna just type in soap opera for learning Spanish. I don't know. I guarantee this will work. Uh, Des uh, Destinos. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Did you guys watch that? I'm gonna yeah, start watching. Yeah. I'm gonna start watching that all. That's gonna be what I fall asleep to each night, just so I can wake <laughs> up and speak fluent Spanish, because that's how that works, right? Maria, <laughs> por qué? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so speaking of uh, Spanish and you know, des desitos or whatever I was just talking about, that's down there in Mexico. Destinos, destinos yeah, there we go. Um, there's you a like rocket. Destinos pizzas. There's a there's a rocket that's um, really close to the um, <clears throat> the border there. La so what's happening with Blue Origin and how are they doing something with? Oh no, that's a different thing. <laughs> hey, I think okay. I saw these when I was out looking for off grid property. This is a <laughs> water grain tank. silo. Yeah. Uh, cool if you can't tell, heaters. apparently I'm just making the worst segues imaginable. Um, but yeah, as you guys know, obviously Starship is continuing to take shape. Elon just shared this, I think last night. Um, but this was serial number, um, serial number five and serial number six still uh, at this point, they were in the high base, but they rolled out yesterday. Serial number five rolled out yesterday to the pad, but, um, it's a really cool shot of the high bay here that they took. And it's showing that this is slowly turning more and more into a proper factory and less and less of just, you know, a machine shed with some steel in it <laughs> <laughs> but you know it's really cool like they have a, a crane or a, a big elevator here for the operators to go up and down on um oh, along wow. the sidewall i still wonder if you know when you have something like this if it will make sense to make the platform just spin so you can just have the operators mm -hmm. here on one side of it and the rocket moves you know and they attach oh sorry just punch the microphone and they attach you know <laughs> things to the <laughs> To the vehicle and then they'd spin the whole vehicle and then work on that side you know or whatever they need to do but um it's just cool seeing these getting to be a lot more refined and a lot more uh manufactured even though we're still not seeing much action from the from the vehicles themselves um but we did see some action <laughs> from st so don't forget okay F reminder again the in the order seal number four was like the last full-blown prototype that they built and we're working on doing the hop with, and that's the one that totally exploded, like mm -hmm. full blown actual explosion, not like overpressure, not just fell over, not just like we're talking. That was the big explosion. Then serial, then they went and built a small test tank again to make sure they have, you know, they're just constantly tweaking their welds, constantly tweaking the the materials. And last week when we talked, serial number seven did a leak test and it popped a, a leak in the top of it, and then they fixed that leak. Oh, hold on. This was from NASA Space Flight, and we got some audio from them. Um, but they tested again till failure, and this time it, it got a little excited and even left the left the it, ground a tiny bit. It failured. <laughs> it did exactly what it was supposed to do. It failured. So uh, obviously, huge thanks to NASA Space Flight for continuing to capture this awesome footage. But yeah, it's this is still the I, I said this last year of like uh, or. I guess I've been saying it since the beginning of Starship. Like, we're just going to see this a lot. We're going to be seeing them constantly making tweaks. And again, I don't know how much of this is stuff that we would normally see or like normally not see, but it happens behind the scenes and how much of it we're just seeing because they're going so fast. So like how, and that's the question I really want to ask like Elon and, and maybe if, you know, comparing compared to say like ULA or Blue Origin, like, I'm sure they do this stuff. It's just behind closed doors. And it might just not be at this pace either, because this is just, I think, to the point where they're rolling out full-size prototypes every two, three, four weeks is is pretty 
you know, absurd. So, mm -hmm. um, so now serial number five has officially rolled out. It rolled out yesterday. Um, let me share again a little bit from, um, from our friends at NASA space flight. Um, their videos, by the way, are, are getting really cool now where they're starting to do little call outs on screen, which I think helps a lot. So this is what the aftermath of serial number seven, uh, the, the bottom fell off. <laughs> um now the and i think um serial number five they said um went from being rolled out to on the stand in a record time you can see it rolling down the street here they're just making this kind of like a normal thing now where they just you know push a giant rocket tank down the street literally a public road and yeah they roll it out and then they stood it up and got it already like on the pad in record time and it's just becoming more and more yeah, I, I love this. I love this. I think this is really cool to see the fruits of that labor, you know, getting kind of paying off where it's actually happening at, at quite a quick pace. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this clip from our show. If that's just not enough for you and you want to watch the full episode, you can go to olfpod.com slash YT. And if you want more from us, you can consider becoming a Patreon member. You'll get early access to episodes. You can join our awesome community. You can actually watch us record live and get your name in the credits by going to olfpod.com slash Patreon. So thanks, everyone, for watching. Check back every Friday for new clips here and new episodes on the main channel. Thanks, everybody.